It's one of the most unique science fiction special events in TV history. Released in 1983, the show had some unbelievable jaw-dropping moments which really put it on the map and is the reason why it's still remembered even today. Yes, we're talking about V, the original miniseries, and this is Sign 5. V was created by Kenneth Johnson, who based the story on the 1935 novel It Can't Happen Here by Sinclair Lewis, which involves a dictatorship ruling the USA, before writing his own screen adaptation called Storm Warnings in 1982. However, in order to sell the story to NBC, Kenneth had to change the dictatorial antagonists from humans into extraterrestrials, so as to cash in on the 1980s science fiction media craze. The events of V occur on a global scale, with the sudden arrival of a fleet of 50 alien motherships appearing over various major cities, while the series itself is set in Los Angeles. With the highly anticipated media-driven appearance of the human-looking aliens, who are subsequently referred to as visitors, their presence is promoted as being massively beneficial to Earth. Ultimately, there are those who support the visitors, some who question them, some who see career opportunities working with them, and those who seek to gain power, financial reward, and influence over other humans because of their new visitor connections. Although there has been a lot of alien visitation films and TV shows made over the years, V was unique because it took the perspective of the everyday person, not from the government and not from the military. In fact, with so many varied characters on offer, you really could, as a viewer, look upon all of them and say, that character there represents myself. The series also takes the time to ask one important question. If you wanted to take over the world without anyone knowing, how would you do it? For this reason, V looks at both the alien's arrival and the subsequent creation of a human force to resist them. Furthermore, the series addresses another key point in that if human-looking aliens landed on Earth, who would be the most likely group of people to uncover their true identity? And it's this reveal which provided one of the biggest OMG moments in the history of science fiction on TV. Central to the story are the two main protagonists. Medical student Juliet Parrish, portrayed by Faye Grant, and news cameraman Mike Donovan, played by Mark Singer. Whilst the main antagonist is Diana, the visitor's chief science officer and second in command, portrayed by Jane Badler. At the commencement of the story, both Julie and Mike operate as individuals working to different agendas, yet their lives begin to integrate together as various events surrounding the visitors start to unfold. Finally, there are the visitors themselves, whose image, style and iconography was directly inspired by the Third Reich, with the uniforms, propaganda methods and stylized swastika logo. Yet despite all their seemingly advanced technology and organisational structure, they are still susceptible to ongoing interpersonal power struggles and corruption as their officers attempt to rise through the ranks to gain greater authority. With the original miniseries being so successful, naturally a sequel wasn't far away. So the following year, V The Final Battle was released, featuring all the original cast in a grand finale spectacular. However, despite being written by Kenneth Johnson, he quickly left the production under very unhappy circumstances and effectively disowned the show. Consequently, in 2008, Kenneth wrote his own official sequel to the original miniseries called V The Second Generation. The problem is, the book completely ignores all the events from V The Final Battle. So now the viewer and or the reader has to determine which one of those two sequels they consider to be canon. Under the outstanding direction of Kenneth Johnson and the great musical score by Joe Harnell, V was an instant smash hit. This was primarily because it did not insult the audience's intelligence, whereby the actions and decision making processes for the characters were all logical and well thought out. So who should see the series? As a fascinating insight into a highly crafted alien invasion, the series is suitable for all ages. Especially as the characters themselves cover every age bracket, from young children to the elderly, so we get to experience their thoughts and feelings as the world around them literally changes overnight. In the end, the series is all about the power of perspective, which is summed up perfectly in the line by Elias, there is just another man to be the man. So if you haven't seen the series before, then you're in for a treat. V is one of the best and well thought out alien invasion stories you'll ever see, especially as it shows in intricate detail how a small group of humans will try and combat a large overwhelming alien presence trying to control the Earth. And for that reason alone, it's well worth watching.